so when you look at the term asthma it comes with a lot of uh, burden to the patient so we need to first understand exactly what asthma is so when you talk of asthma it is not something which is in india known as dama because people often get confused with the disease asthma and convert them into dama that they understand that it is more commonly said for copd and it is like said that dama to dam ke saath hi jata hai and people don't improve with it they progressively deteriorate and despite treatment it is like death which is waiting because of the disease so that is not at all what is asthma what is asthma is is allergy of the air tubes so our lung has two parts it are, the one part is the tubes the airways which transport the air from outside to the lungs and then the lung parenchyma which is there which actually does the transport thing between like it takes the oxygen and gives away the carbon dioxide so it is the allergy of the air tubes which are there in the lung which is actually asthma and it is like a disease which can be controlled entirely with the medications and one can have the best of the life that how is it caused so we really don't understand that how it is caused but we understand that how it is triggered so there there are certain things which are called genetic predispositions or there are certain things which are called environmental triggers when they interact between each other we as my cause there are post viral phenomena which can actually precipitate and make people allergic but then what we understand more correctly is that what are the triggers so if you look at triggers the most important triggers are those which are there present in the air like it could be pollen grains it could be house dust mites it could be so fungal spores which are there it could be animal danders these are all things which can actually trigger it it is inhalers which are correct it is not the tablets which are correct why because tablets come into milligrams and that is like a thousand times more when you talk of inhalers which comes into the doses comes into micrograms so the doses are too less and then we are not looking at direct delivery so the disease is in the the problem is there in the lungs and when inhalers you actually deliver the medicine directly into the lungs so the dose required is less the side effects are practically not there you wash your mouth gargle after taking the inhaler so whatever there is there in the oral deposition gets washed off and among inhalers it should have inhaled corticosteroids which is the mainstay of treatment for bronchial asthma asthma can could be found in all the age groups they are prevalent in children adolescents young middle aged old age but then there are different kind of asthmas which are there there are childhood onset asthma there are adult onset asthma so we actually look at the various types but then if you talk of asthma it is present in children also it is present in adults also and it is it can present into old age also counseling helps so the doctor needs a little time to spend with the patient and tell all these things which are actually bothering the patient and in pediatric patients the parents also need to be involved and be need to be talked off about this issue so that the issue is resolved but then yes definitely you're right about it there is a lot of stigma which is related to the disease per se and with the inhalers also